golfers, you know PXG is on a mission to create the most high-quality, high-performance golf clubs in the game. Head over to pxg.com slash command and save 10% on all apparel. That's pxg.com slash command to save 10% on apparel. pxg.com slash command. Hi, everybody. Welcome back to the Second in Command podcast. It's, it is a Veep rewatch podcast. My name is Timothy Simons. Uh, my name is Matt Walsh, and we have a great guest today, a writer of episode 604. Yeah. You like to go right into the guest introductions. Well, I'm staring at her. The, the <laughs> visual dynamic, sometimes you can ignore the guest, but this feels uh-huh. like a legal I'm, I'm deposition being interviewed. Yeah. like yeah. you're going to you're going to be held accountable to something. Rachel Axler, welcome. Thank you for having me. Again. Uh second time guest. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, I have nothing more to say. It's going to be so boring. <laughs> <laughs> I think after your third visit you get a mug with oh, our mm-hmm. with our nice. uh, logo on it. Awesome. This yeah, is so you're earning. Yeah. We got to punch your card. Yeah. And, and I feel like on the back. fifth visit, you'll we'll all make the joke about how you get a jacket like the Five Timers Club. Yeah. But then we won't actually have a jacket for right, you. So you won't invite me back just in case. No, we'll say then we change it to ten, and you're gonna get a brass <laughs> uh, teapot or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hopefully. Yeah. And then, is, are brass teapots expensive? I would assume brass is expensive. <laughs> yeah. We're obviously talking about episode 604. Which was written by Rachel. Written by Rachel Axler and no one else, right? Uh, I mean, everyone writes all of <laughs> the episodes. No but other yes. collaborators. Absolutely. Right. All me. All me. Right. From beginning to end. Yes. This episode aired. You know what? when it aired? When? I'm going to quiz you. It's your episode. Oh. Um, 2000 in the teens. Yeah. Great. 17. May 7th, 2017. May 7th? Yeah. Aww. Is that a Wait, birthday? Is it a meaningful? It's my son's birthday, yeah. Really? Is I it? I didn't even know that, yeah. I mean, I knew that. I didn't know that that's <gasps> when it is. You didn't know that that was your son's birthday? I didn't. I that's didn't. kind of an yeah. interesting date know, now awkward. for you. You've had a no, lot of good wonderful. things happen on that day. Yeah. What, um, is, what does your son think about uh, episode 604 of oh, Veep, it's his, uh, Justice? It's his favorite. It's his favorite of all of the Veep episodes. How are you guys doing with the no headphones? I'm okay. What are you feeling? Is it weird? I, I feel kind of in my head about it. Okay. Right. We can do, let's we can keep call. going. Let's keep going and I'll see if <laughs> it might just be my thing. Uh, we can do whatever you want. Yeah, yeah. If I'm you, happy if, to put if, it on. Is, is it like comforting sort of? Like it's yeah, like maybe, a, maybe it is hearing comforting. your voice. Yeah. yeah, we could just... We could let's just it. do it. Yeah, let's just, let's just put them on. All right, headphones. Yeah. I have to figure it out. It's a failed pilot. The, the headphoneless yeah. pilot. Uh, oh my God, it's so much more comforting. I love right. hearing my is voice. Is that better? Yeah, that is kind of better. Oh, it's lovely. It feels intimate, doesn't it? Yeah. There's closeness to this. Uh, yeah, this I feed. think maybe that's it. Yeah, we probably talk quieter too, which is good. Yeah. We have a sense not of. I'm, our <laughs> we're not using our theater. <laughs> <laughs> Aaron, the first 10 minutes, you're going to have to take down our blab, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> if anything, you guys are. Quite as mice. Ooh. Yeah. Oh, good. That's lovely. Uh, yeah, it's not great for sound. <laughs> Aaron just coming on mic to, he says nothing for two years and then just comes in and dunks on us. <laughs> He's like, I was telling you to speak up. <laughs> for two but years. But you didn't have your headphones on, so <laughs> it was ignored. Um, this episode's called Justice. I'm going to get some simple work out of the way. The synopsis, according to the Veep Wiki. Mm-hmm. Which, who writes the Veep Wiki, you guys? Is uh, that just the internet open source people? Or I think what it's is, internet open source. It's but on one fandom. Of them, it's I, on a site called Fandom. Maybe they do it. I don't think the site does it. I do think it's open source, but I heard one time that a genetic relative of Hemingway <laughs> at one point edited one of the synopses. Uh, that's not true. <laughs> I'm just trying to make it slightly <laughs> interesting. <to> <laughs> I don't know if any of this is working. It's touched. It's been touched by uh, the legacy of a great author. Therefore, it's yes. worthy of reading. <laughs> no, the wikis or the synopses are always terrible. And I'm just fascinated. There's a whole industry of people who write synopses because mm-hmm. we always go to the Internet for these types of things. And they're always sort of subpar. And you would think that if you're in the business of creating them, they would be better or people would be paid better to make them? I think here's my counterpoint. I think you say industry and business and paid as if 
any one of those things is true. I don't, I think the only people making money are possibly the people that own the domain who do none of the work. And so the people that are writing are doing simply because they enjoy the thing. Like they are not getting paid. And if you were going to be like, hey, would you write these synopsis? Those person, th those people would be like, well, you have to pay us like a living wage. And they would be like, oh, no, no, no. <laughs> like, you know, do you know what I mean? Yeah, but are they not just taken from something that's a more sort of official like synopsis that's been given to whatever the version of TV guy like did they now? pull it off the HBO yeah. all right well we'll read like, this okay. and then I'll look up the yeah. HBO one okay. so this is the wiki fandom Selena and her team attend the funeral of a Supreme Court justice Amy works on securing location for Selena's library Dan tries to maintain his upswing with Jane his co-host Jonah finds an issue not great right should it deliver a little more detail? I think it should, unless that's the job well, of a I synopsis. Think, I do think that there is that thing of people not, people are so concerned about spoilers that like Jonah finds an issue is a little bit mad many. Yeah. So I think that they probably could go into a little bit more detail rather than, that seems too vague, but you can't go into a lot of detail. Yeah, Jonah finds an issue was the one I was I was just muddling over. <laughs> I was like, I right? don't understand right. that. Yeah. But... But that's like, that would be all television shows and all films. <laughs> X character finds an issue. Right, right. It does a thing, has has an impetus for Yeah, yeah, stuff. yeah. Um. <laughs> Makes a choice of some kind, good or bad. Has a story. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I guess they're always, right, it's, it's adequate for most of it, but like there's a thing at the end, it's like, I don't understand that last sentence. Like right. there's always something like that. I just find that sort of interesting so let's see if there's a synopsis this is a little bit of an offshoot while we're talking about business and websites did you guys read the defector article about sydney sweeney I don't think so okay so i think defector i believe is a bunch of people that have been laid off of deadspin and they started their own like sort of like arts and culture website called defector uh, the headline is just the money's going to all the wrong places and it kind of centers Just on that. sydney sweeney mm -hmm. who is i think and no one could argue is like I think sort of like the person of this moment is like sure. kind of like the most famous, the most recognizable up and coming sort of young movie star. Mm -hmm. uh, like alongside like Zendaya. Unless, yes. Oh, yeah. sorry. Yeah. Like Zendaya. But she's she is newer, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. OK. And so one of the things that it points out is that people that maybe come from legacy families that have parents that were in the business. It focuses on Sydney Sweeney because she is someone who very much did not come from the industry. She is like a first generation kid doing this, is doing really well. Right. It, it basically focuses on some comments that she's made in the past about like, I would love to take six months off to start a family or like that is maybe underneath what she's saying. But like she's basically saying the economics mm -hmm. of what I do do not allow me to take six months off. I need to keep working at all times wow. in a way. And it, it points out that like the person that Sidney Sweeney was in the 90s would have been like Jennifer Aniston and Jennifer Aniston, because of her success and her fame and the work that she did, never had to work again in her life. But the economics of the business now are simply not that it is uh, an article about we pay CEOs $250 million a year. The money is all going to the people who are not actually making the product. And more and more it is being sort of squeezed out to the point where the person... So like Sydney Sweeney is like a is an industry into herself. Right. I think I think it costs a lot of money to be Sydney Sweeney, to keep up. You have to be in shape. Like that involves personal trainers. That's not like an accident. Right. So there is like a cost publicist. To, has uh, to keep publicist. A publicist has to keep your face out there and yes. get the right photos and articles. Yeah. And like and it just I Manager. feel like it's a great article if you want an actual eye into the current economics of the business and why it's so fucked up mm. and why like this is a person who is like the outside of Zendaya, the person that you yeah, can point and I have to, to. I have yeah. to jump in. It is Zendaya. And I, Zendaya. And I learned that recently, and I was like, and now I feel like a complete tool for saying, so it's day, it's pronounced day. Zendaya? Zendaya yeah. Uh, did Tom Holland correct you on that? Uh, yes, personally. Okay. No, I, I... Are they I, a couple? I'm so square. Yes. They much. are, yeah. I didn't yeah. know that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, but I, no, I was I was Googling it specifically. <laughs> I was like, how do you pronounce her name? Because I thought it was, and anyway, she has very specifically said it's day, like daytime, so... 
Oops, apologies. Okay. Better. Okay, um, so Zendaya, if Zendaya. you're, what yes. you, we know you're listening. <laughs> she is. We're so sorry. <laughs> she's in the HBO family. Of course she's listening. Yeah. So um, here's the HBO synopsis, okay. which is good, but it's much more short. It's shorter. It's, it says, it's just Jonah finds an issue. No. It's, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> justice. Selena and her team attend the funeral of a Supreme Court justice. Wow. That's, that's that's what happens in the first 30 seconds. So is that yeah. the thumbnail or is that the synopsis? That's the best, like, I that's mean, on the HBO that site. Is, that's definitely a thumbnail, but that's like, I mean, that's but that is kind a, of a synopsis. That's a thumbnail synopsis. Yeah. That yeah. Is, but that's better because everything they say is interesting or well put. It's true. True. <laughs> yeah. I guess it's all true in the other one, too, but yeah. It's just lazy on the other ones. I don't know. We had you on last during season five. Yes. Can you remember anything about <laughs> your <laughs> her appearance? <laughs> she didn't listen. <laughs> did you listen to your episode? Did you listen to your episode? I did. I did. Um, oh, wow. Yeah. Um, mostly because I, I don't know. I don't know if that's a glutton for punishment thing or whatever, mm-hmm. but I was I was very like curious about how, to what extent I had um I should be mortified. <laughs> okay. Um, um, I was I was delighted, especially by the editing. Thank you. Thank you for editing out so many of <gasps> what I'm sure I, I'm sure I said um and like more than yeah yeah yeah. yeah. Uh, thank you. Oh, for doing that. my pleasure. That was very, I, very kind. So anyway, yeah. One so of, you weren't mortified. You were like, oh, okay. I don't sound like a I was, total idiot. I was only I was only partly mortified. Okay. As opposed to you know feeling like I there was something in the world that I didn't want to be out there (laughs) i always feel that way whenever i see a quote that i'm doing in in some sort of article or whatever i always am like oh my god i sound so uneducated i just cringe every time i get quoted not that i get quoted a lot but whenever i do have you ever done one of those interviews where they don't like paraphrase yes and they they put in every single um and pause and 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 like circle back Mm -hmm. like they you just you sound like a psychopath you sound like kevin spacey in seven when he's doing like all the <laughs> journals with no punctuation yeah it's uh, yeah it's it's mammoth speak almost but it's like <laughs> but <laughs> but it's also here's another thing that i that i it, this is just a pet peeve but when people uh write the word like the way people use it and don't understand how commas work around the word like so it's like so it's like, so for instance, so it's like, I would say, so it's like, he was like, blah, blah, blah. And they would write, he was, comma, like, blah, blah, blah. That's not correct. Was like is the verb. The verb is to be like, which means said or approximately said. Like this oh. is a, this is like a big, anyway, this is, Wait, this is one of my so, pet meets. So don't Seriously. break up the was and the like. Don't break up the was and the like because yeah. it's actually part of, that is that is the phrase. The, the phrase compound is, verb or whatever? Yeah, it's okay. a, right, the infinitive, I, I don't know if that's Sense. English. Yeah, but yeah. In, um, so if I was going, <laughs> so if I was telling a story and I said, and then Walsh was like, uh, I don't want to go up that high on a ladder. Right. We were we were hanging some Easter decorations th- last weekend, and he was like, "I don't want to go up on the ladder." You know what I mean? So I was like, is, "I don't want to go up on the." He ladder. was like, "I don't want to go up on the ladder," and he made me do it. And he was like, "You got to go up on the ladder," and I was like, "I don't want to go up right. on the ladder." So every so, time you're saying that, <laughs> there should be no commas. Like is not extraneous there. Like is part of the of the verb. He said. Okay. But right? what about should there be a comma in that though? No, at all? There at all? Should, should, there should, should not run. be a comma like comma. Is it, I mean, if, it's if you a put a stall? comma on both, no, because that is assuming that, and this is the this is the mistake that people make off of this, when they're sort of extricating the likes, when they're mm-hmm. just taking all of them out willy nilly. So they're like, so they'll take out that like, and then it becomes he was. I don't want to go up on the ladder. Nobody says that, right? right. He was, he was, I don't want to do, I was, da, da, da. That's just not the way. This is, this is, I am, this is my, like, hill to die on for some reason. But, um, but it really bothers me. So, uh, so. I How guess. were you about the two spaces after the period? I also don't like them, but I used to use them uh, simply because um, people I worked for used them. Okay. Um, and I, it's funny, I was just looking back at, you know, some scripts for this, for, for 604, and I oh, was... she did so much more research than we did. You're such a writer. No, 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 I, it was because I forgot 
everything. Okay. And I just wanted to remember <laughs> anything about anything. But just but, truthfully, we go into podcasts forgetting everything and have no nervousness about it. So we're you saying are, you have quality... <laughs> In your bones, and yes. we don't. You, no. Yes, you, you have, have a, in You your bones. shoot for quality, and we just shoot for ease, I is what we're saying. We're complimenting you. Uh, thank you, but what the truth <laughs> is that what I have is anxiety, okay. <laughs> um, and what you have is confidence. <laughs> oh, the different side that's, of the coin. That's my, that's my Oh, my assumption. God. I'm not inferior. I'm superior. <laughs> exactly. Oh, my God. You fixed me. Oh. You are okay. so good for thank me. You, you are that, so good for me. That's why I am... Is this therapy? And I'm the. Uh, I love it. Um, I'm always in therapy. What was I? Can you about? remember oh, anything? Writing. No, go ahead. Oh yeah, spaces. no, it was about it was about the spaces. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So I was noticing that um, I was noticing that throughout sort of different drafts. I didn't read a billion drafts of it, but I was reading like something that had you know several drafts uh, collated combined, and um, and some of the lines would have two spaces between sentences and some of them wouldn't and I was like oh yeah that's that's like where Dave came in and like wrote stuff because it was and it was just that tell I mean it was also the oh. were, also that they were hilarious and all of his jokes are amazing but mm -hmm. it was mm -hmm. but it was interesting to see um just formatting slash stylistically wise um d the mm. difference I could I could tell which parts I had either written or at least edited <laughs> down also when you do two spaces then i mean the lines get bigger and then you just you're just you get pages. fewer jokes yeah. <laughs> i did you're like a good forensic detective for veep scripts like you could go aha <laughs> this, <laughs> is, jen a, and gabby this is a lou that. jen and gabby <laughs> <laughs> there's too many spaces right they Whatever. used yeah. they used uh, for some reason a, a different um font so <laughs> yeah <laughs> they just wanted everyone to know <laughs> No, it was, it was just that. I mean, and maybe it wasn't Dave, but I, you know, it was something that had come from Dave to me, and and I had written back to. Oh, it was specific. Oh, you know what it was? It was about a moment. Can I talk about a moment in the in the episode? Absolutely. Yeah. It was um, absolutely. It not. was Jesus, about. What do you think I keep this is? pointing to my notebook as if that's the episode. This is the episode. Uh -huh. um, it was about the moment when Catherine finds out that her mom has had a heart attack. Oh, God, and what a laughs. fucking great And she moment. laughs. Okay, so I found this email thread between me and Dave Mandel that was like him just sending something to me and, uh, you know, obviously a draft. And uh, and I wrote back something like, the Catherine laughing at her mom's heart attack is now my favorite thing that has ever happened on Veep. And and he, he was like, oh, yeah, I was pretty proud of that. I thought of that at 5 a.m. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> pretty cool. Um, I was just like, it's perfect. It is. It's perfect. It, it is. It is a perfect. And I'm so glad I watched this episode because I had forgotten about that moment. Yeah. It is incredible. And she laughs twice. Yes. 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 Well, that was. A and it she ends, ends on the a scene with another yeah. creeping, creeping in laugh. That's not even in the script. So the script, the, the script, she laughs right, and and I love that she ends on the laugh too because it's just, it's clearly just what was natural to Sarah and the, the brilliant instinct of just like going back to like that giddy like yeah it's like ha, ha, ha. <laughs> you know <laughs> and one thing that I love about the way she performs that is that she does laugh and then she does also then cap the scene with a laugh but both times it's a little bit unsure and a little bit nervous it comes out and it's happening but even as it's happening she's not like fully like you can tell that the character is not fully yeah. okay with the fact that she's laughing you know what she i mean she just literally she cannot contain it she it's can't just contain yeah it. it's just coming out she her. is like second guessing her own reaction as it's happening yeah. it's a really that's cool not an performance. easy moment for no. an actor either no, no, cuz no. i watched that i'm like that is so good she's so good i mean yeah. i always tell sarah and who's never been on her show and i always i can't harass her anymore yeah yeah because i feel bad when i do she's, well, also, she's the, so shy also the restraining and, order and also the yeah. restraining order. she's very shy and she's like i don't want to be okay you can yeah. be within 100 yards of me you can't just be within 100 yards and ask her lawyer to come on said i can't even say her name anymore on her podcast. her lawyer threatened to i can't even say her name but that moment and that relationship has always been spectacular, hers mm -hmm. and Selena's. It's just such so a great good. dynamic and so fruitful for the show. It's just incredible. While we're on that scene, I there were like six moments in that that I love. Like, number one, when uh, Dan, when he's just flipping through the magazine, and then they talk about like doing it like the organic way, and he perks just up. so puts perks up, the, yeah. puts the magazine down, puts the magazine down, is like, 
that's interesting. <laughs> he does it all so quietly. Yeah. And I just love the restraint it's in that so moment. Like, it's so fucking funny. Can yeah. I, can He's a veteran. <laughs> yeah. And then, oh, and then, like, why don't we all just puppy pile? Puppy pile. Puppy pile. I was puppy trying to remember who Puppy Pile was from. And for some reason, in my mind, I think it was Ian Maxtone Grant. <laughs> that's, uh-huh. that's not the guess I would have. That's not the guess I'm not, I would have not. I'm not sure about that. I might be wrong. I might yeah. be Wrong. Of course, yeah. um, but uh, but for some reason, I can see that like in his handwriting on like a page. So may have been. That's, but, oh, that's so great. But um, can I just say, yeah. uh, like, and I don't want this to be uh, like too revealing, but I've been open about the fact that my wife and I had to go through IVF. We have mm-hmm. twins because we had to like go to Beverly Hills to get two children right. um, because that's just like that's where all the. IVF doctors are <laughs> so, like that's um, where all the kids are. Yeah, that's Beverly where all the kids Hills. are. You just yeah, open the up boutiques. Door. Yeah, yeah the good boutiques. boutiques. Man, if you the want baby it, boutiques are yes. better than Bev, Bev Hills. Yeah, yeah, they are. And also, like it's like you get your scene there. You know what I mean? Like that's another part of it. They're oh, like, sure. oh, I saw them shopping for two babies. Uh, yeah. yeah. So like it's like you know, and my PR person turned me on to that. That's Sydney Sweeney and I have the good same PR. That's yeah. so good for your yeah. career. I'm so glad you had children too. Yeah. So what was your point? The point was that that <laughs> a, the, a lack of sperm motility, that there is some yeah. this, a lack of sperm motility is not actually a death sentence for having children right. because they could have actually done ICSI. You then just put them together mm-hmm. externally. You're not like sort of doing like the turkey baster thing right. of artificial insemination. You're doing ICSI, which is fertilizing the eggs outside and then implanting them. Mm-hmm. So that would, I guess, have been in real life would have been the next step there mm-hmm. was there was a a thing in the script for a while where um because someone someone mentioned i don't know what ICSI stands for what does it stand for i can't remember okay. either well i don't know if this is that uh-huh. but um but someone did mention um i feel like sort of the gross way of saying it and the way that we said it was uh-huh. uh that you can basically cut straight into the ball um you can cut the testicle and sort of remove sperm in that yes, way. Yes. Yes. And that they uh, so originally um, the the nurse actually or not the doctor apologies. Wow, I'm so rude. Wow. <laughs> oh Women can be doctors. Oh you my do this God. every you step in it every Rachel. episode. <laughs> Okay, Rachel, I have a little thing. A right. child and goes to the emergency room. Goes to the emergency room. And, and the, the doctor, doctor comes in and says, says I, can't I can't operate, operate on them. them. Oh, there you are, my son. But it's not the child's father. The father died in the car accident. So who is that doctor? Who is the doctor? A ghost. It's a woman. It's, it's a mom. woman doctor. It's the what? mom. No. Um, all right. I am I'm like genuinely embarrassed about that about that. Uh, I, uh, we Rachel, felt I love you. We felt weakness and we yeah. had to I time. love no, you so much. That's going to stay in. That's not going to Fuck. be edited out. Um all right. Great. Um So anyway, the nurse was saying it's all cutting. Originally yeah. the doctor comes in, the doctor who is who is probably the um head of her department, uh comes in. <laughs> Uh, so originally she she actually said something at the end of the scene about like we could just you know cut straight into the mm-hmm. testicle and he's like and I'm out like and he just oh, leaves funny. you know but um but but yes we we uh, were aware that low motility did not necessarily mean that he couldn't uh, impregnate someone because he impregnates Amy later but this is but this is specifically. We think, I, I mean, I think the, the thought was, this is actually kind of how that happened, because after oh, this, he's, he's very uncautious. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. And is this the season where Amy gets pregnant? Yeah, at, at, the, the, end. End of, okay. at the end of the season, she tells him she's pregnant. And you all knew that? Yeah. Going oh, at that's right. So The outline had been established. Yeah, yeah. Well, I don't remember when but i i feel like yeah. at this point most likely because yeah. because that was that was a connection that was very clearly made sort of you know in in the writers room which was that you know from this revelation he becomes uh you know he basically becomes uh less concerned about his ability to actually like knock anyone up and then and then when he and Amy have sex, yeah. uh, most likely he leaves this scene. At, he's got I got a couple abortion refunds right. coming my way, right? So he there, is very confident about his. Yeah, uh, I will say as somebody, and I don't know. I mean, I I'm just going to say it because I don't know if this makes me look bad or not. But when I was given that information, 
I did also, I don't think in necessarily a Dan way, was like, oh, I guess I could, not that I would have been, I would have acted dangerously, but sure. I could have removed a lot of anxiety from my young life. You know what I mean? Yeah, about absolutely. like There is probably with, say, with, <laughs> with precautions, never had to worry about getting somebody pregnant when I was younger. You know what I mean? Yeah. Well, I, I mean, again, I don't know. And I don't know whether... I don't know, you know, the statistics about it or anything, but I know that it is not impossible. At the end of the outline that I that I found that I like sent you, which was sort of the outline that I think was made to match the maybe the first draft or the mm -hmm. table draft. The very final scene is uh, Richard. Um, is Richard going into uh, a little office to? to uh, provide them a sperm sample right, for. Right, to shake the devil's hand. But he doesn't know how because yes. he's never done it before. That wound up in the show eventually, right? Yes. I think that's in the next episode. Okay, all right. Yeah, yeah, yeah they yeah. didn't cover that Yeah, and Marjorie episode. basically teaches him how to masturbate. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like from outside the room. Like, yeah. I, that didn't make it into oh, the that cut. Didn't? That's oh. not in the cut, okay. but I love the idea. Right. So in the scene that we talked about with Sarah laughing, um, I also love Marjorie like going, oh, that, that could be interesting. He has rather delicate features. Yeah, he has rather delicate features. She's like features. considering the puppy pile. Yeah. That was from, that was, that was, someone in college described me that way as having delicate features and I thought it was really weird. <laughs> And I never kind of forgot that. I don't know. I just okay. thought, I thought it was a very weird phrase, and that phrase stuck in my head. And I was like, I was like, yeah, that's a, it's a fun way to describe him. There yeah. are <laughs> there are ways of describing people that make you sound like a serial killer. <laughs> I remember one time a friend of mine called me out on, I was like watching this one. And I was like, wow, this actress, she's like really kind of like really beautiful. She has like a beautiful neck. And he was like, you sound like a <laughs> fucking psychopath. Yeah. Um, and you name the specific body part like Yeah, that. that's really what does it. Specifically one that I guess like a vampire would be specific, you know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I have a question about, so. Senator Hallows appears in this episode. Mm -hmm. Yes. She is someone who's, I think, vetting Selena's Supreme Court run right. or potential candidacy. The and Eileen that Fisher scene star. is abruptly short. Yes. She, we just see her in the brownstone and she's walking her out. I, was there more of a scene there in your memory or it was just I don't think there was we just it. we it was to connect it because we needed we needed an indication. Basically it was like it was like the entire episode is just speculative unless we show that there is actually a possibility. So someone right. needed to come in and actually vet her because that would actually happen. Yeah, but, yeah, yeah. So, so I think that was, it was, you know, just getting that moment in there where she isn't completely crazy. Like there is actually reason to believe that this might happen. Yeah. And then also just getting in like an Eileen Fisher scarf joke or whatever at the end of it. Can, right? can you tell me the Eileen Fisher scarf joke? I, oh, I think I don't understand. I think I, it's just that Eileen Fisher has, is a brand that um, uh, people associate with like women of a certain age. So, oh, okay. So, and I think she mentions Eileen Fisher earlier when she's worried about um, going through menopause. Oh, so it's, yeah, a, it's okay. like a little bit of a callback and it's oh. also just like, because I think she says like, like uh, write me up a prescription for like Eileen Fisher and Fosamax and lube. And lube. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, which, yeah, which was not the original line, but I think that once that was in there, um, once that was in there, maybe the the fun callback to the scarf. And still. is uh, Hallow's wearing one? Does Selena compliment her? Yes, she does. And then Amy makes the funniest face. Anna's yeah. face there is so she's just like Ugh. yeah. <laughs> just a, just she says like, little... oh, thank you. It's Eileen Fisher. And then Anna makes a face. Yeah. Oh, that's so funny. Uh, I, uh, little, I'll but... I'll just say off of that, I want to point out that Mike just like immediately denies the rumor that. Like this whole episode begins with this rumor, like uh, with Mike denying that there is any truth to the rumor that she's being con considered for the Supreme Court, yes. and even the press is like, "Wait, is there actually a rumor? Is that actually?" Right, a he rumor? starts the like, rumor by denying a by rumor. By denying which is the so rumor, great. I mean, that, yeah, that is tricky. Yeah, we have two of that kind of thing happening in that episode, right? Because so Mike does that. Um, Mike starts the rumor by denying it, and then later. Richard confirms the rumor yes. by just like the party saying, line. Yeah, saying exactly what Selena 
told him to say, but in such a like hilariously robotic fashion that like Dan is like, I gotcha. I gotcha. Yeah. But there's nothing, there's no second you know, meaning to it. He's just saying that those words. It's just that Richard has absolutely no smoothness. There is no, yeah. he cannot be suave in any way. He also yeah. has no ulterior motive ever. Yeah. He's yeah. just so like surface sweet, you yeah. know? And like, so, yeah. so it, it doesn't occur to him that he could be saying something and someone could think he's winking, you know? Yeah. It's, well, it's like when he calls Jonah and Jonah says, oh, is it the traitor calling to suck my ball? And he's like, no, <laughs> no it's, it's actually Richard Splatt. Splatt. No, it's Richard Splatt. <laughs> He also he, he says doesn't it, hear the insult, and he's he like, says it with a question. No, it's Richard Sweat. Yeah, like it's it's very like he's actually confused by your confusion. At, this, like I uh, I love the yeah. everything about that golfers, and I by that I mean you and me, Tim. Uh, oh yeah, whenever people talk about us, they are referring to golfers. Yeah, you're a good golfer. You know, PXG is on a mission to create the most high quality, high performance golf clubs in the game. Well. They're bringing that same passion for excellence to their new line of apparel. And I got to say, they nailed it. They are made with premium materials and technology designed for peak performance. These confidence-inspiring looks invite all-day play, taking you seamlessly from the course to the office to a night out. So I got a sweet, I don't know, they probably like me more, because I got in the mail a sweet, breathable, you know, the kind of shirt that breathes, kind of form-fitting yeah, yeah, golf yeah. shirt. Nice collar so I can wear it on the course and not be kicked off for uh -huh. not, like, having a collar. So it looks good? It looks amazing. Here's the thing. You tried to tell me that I was not important enough to get one of those shirts. Yeah. I also got one of those shirts. I wore that shirt when I was golfing yesterday. Oh. And you know what? It's mm. not wrong. I actually wore it to I a thought work it was function. Special. No, you're not special. I thought it was special. Oh, well, wait, you we wore it somewhere? but not the golf course? No, I wore it to the golf course and then I had to go from the golf course to a work function and it was seamless. I hope you put on deodorant. That's my only point. It was <laughs> a nightmare. I did not. Everybody commented on it. They said, oh, your shirt looks nice. And then they said, you smell terrible. So elevate your style game on and off the course with the PXG Spring Summer 2024 collection. Head over to pxg.com slash command and save 10% on all apparel. That's pxg.com slash command to save 10% on apparel. pxg.com slash command. Let me, I want to go back to this question. I want to uh, talk about your anxiety for a second. <laughs> So what can you remember? Okay. Um, I feel like 20 minutes ago, I started this question. The second half is, can you remember how you felt in the season six writer's room versus season five? Because season five Ooh. was your first one. You're, now you're in season six. Are you, do you feel That's more? That's a good question. Thank Tim. you. That's yeah. a good question. Yeah. That's a really good question. The, uh, well, it was, a, it was a greatly expanded writer's room, which was mm -hmm. really cool. So there were a lot of like, a lot of new people, which also probably f who were you know a lot of new people who were also just like murderers row of yeah. comedy writers like crazy crazy like amazing uh people which in a way i guess almost it it almost like brings your anxiety down because it's like it feels a little bit less on you to like find Mm -hmm. <laughs> the good stuff, yeah. you know, because mm -hmm. there's so many other good people. No, I was, just, I guess I was just thrilled to be a part of it. I, I probably felt, you know what, I probably felt more confident because um, I didn't know Dave before that first season. And I, he had, he had sort of prior, like, you know, like worked with most of the other people there before. So I was a bit of a new, a, a bit of a new sort of element to, I guess, his like writing life. I don't even, I don't know what I'm saying. Anyway, who's staff. And I feel like by that second season with him, like we knew each other's like temperaments and like rhythms more. And he, he knew the stuff that I was good at, mm -hmm. which was very cool. And then I, I do remember being extremely excited to be given the fourth episode because it felt sort of like a responsibility given to me. And I was like, I am going to, you know, shoulder this, mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm going to shoulder this well. Yeah. I, I, and there was a little bit less of the fear, the sort of imposter syndrome-y fear of like, I don't know how to write about this because mm -hmm. I, you know, haven't been part of it before because by that point, first of all, we had had so many people in and talking to us, and I knew that that was going to be the process. And so, anything I didn't know about, I wasn't just writing blind. I, you know, I had t 
tons of stuff to pull from. Yeah, I guess I guess I was just more comfortable there, and I knew the process better. And this one, I I when it start, one thing that I thought that was interesting, just based off the last conversation we had, yeah. was uh, like I think the last one was you raised your hand for the abortion episode. But that was season seven. That was the that, that was, was season seven. Yeah, that was that was like. And I actually don't, I don't think I specifically said I want the abortion episode. I think that he knew that I wanted the abortion. Yeah. Uh, what I did was, oh, you know, okay. So I brought in my friend Veronica from high school who is, who is um, a doctor, turns out. What? The, I know. I we're going to have to. Aaron, is a can doctor? you. Got to say though. Aaron, can you get on that? That seems. Check that. In the no, but here's a, here's a funny thing that will. um <laughs> Uh, make me look worse again. Um, <laughs> <laughs> you thought uh, she shouldn't I, have been a doctor. I, <laughs> she doesn't have the temperament for this. No, she's She'll amazing. be too emotional. So she's an, o- she's an OBGYN, but she's also, um, she also like leads a clinic and whatever for, um, for anyway, she's amazing. Um, I brought her in for the seventh season to um, talk to us about the realities of getting an abortion mm-hmm. in a place where abortion access is uh, restricted um, or, or at least, you know, it, not at the time it wasn't in the way that it is now, mm-hmm. but, um, but where it was at least, you know, where there were going to be people protesting outside and stuff, which is a lot of places. But I named the <laughs> cardiac, um, the, the head of, head of um, whatever yeah, he is, head of cardiology mm-hmm. at the hospital, Ron Addis. Um, after Veronica Addis, because I knew that they would want it to be a white man. Um, and I was like, all right, I'm going to name him Ron. At least, like, they'll keep the name. Yeah. If I name him Veronica, they're probably going to change it. So that was the part that makes me look bad again. But, oh, okay. um, but that does also make sense given Selena's hatred. Because I yes. feel like if yeah. Veronica Addis, the doctor Veronica Addis in the show comes in, <laughs> she's going to be like, no, no, no. You can have Gary. Right. You can have Gary. Yeah, you can but operate like, on Gary. But well, give me right. the real doctor well, is what uh, yeah. she would say. And that was a... That, and that's like the the opposite of the joke that happens, right? Where she's just like she's like the, you know the head of cardiology for him, and they're like no yeah. no no, no. <laughs> like he'll be placing your stents. She's like oh, okay, yeah, thank God, um, yeah. When what in season five wasn't there? Well, I think the only reason I bring that up yeah. is that I thought that it was interesting that this had that this episode sort of had it begins with like a quote unquote women's issue. But then quickly goes away from that. Like it has this sort of oh, like menopause, menopause thing, thing at the it. beginning, yeah. Yeah. but then quickly goes away from that. Yeah. Uh, and it is not really the focus. That was not, um, <laughs> it wasn't really a part of my, like, just the age I was at the mm-hmm. time. Like, I, it wasn't like part of my existence yet. So I wasn't, uh-huh. so that was not my, like, I want to get this in there. Uh, yeah. so, someone else mentioned it and it was a, it was just a great, I mean, it, it made sense for Selena and who, who, like her age at the time and stuff. Um, but yeah, no, that wasn't, that wasn't me like, you know, trying to get something in there that was okay. just given to me. Um, but, and in fact, that's, I feel like that's actually why the joke was changed to Eileen Fisher and Fossamax, which is not a thing that I had heard of. Or, you know, it was it was the specificity of that was much funnier than whatever it was that I wrote at first, which was probably I did write lube, but I think I wrote I don't even remember. I don't remember. What it was. Fossamax is one of those things where when I see that, I'm just like, boy, I know that's a funny joke. And I have no idea what Fossamax is. Yeah. What is it? What is it? I'm assuming it's a menopause. I mean, I, I think it's for I, I think it's for bones. Uh, bone density? Bone density for osteoporosis? Yeah. For, I, okay. I have no idea. I did not write the joke. It's a great joke. <laughs> God, I wish you were my doctor. I think this is for bones? I can't be your doctor. It can Jesus. treat or prevent osteoporosis. There you go. Yeah. It's, for bones. Correct. it's for bones. It's for bones. such a good voice. This is why the headphones work. He does. Yeah, wow. he really he does. He can call audibles And you know what? Game. You know what? Here's the thing. Is that he has that voice, but he has no desire to be anywhere near That's the content ridiculous. that is created here. Oh. That's like that makes you've sense. got. Uh, I mean, you've got what you've got. Hakeem Elijah one sitting the bench uh-huh. right now with yeah. Aaron back there with that voice. Um, I wanted to talk about yeah. the wonderful story or plot of Gary and Selena ending up in bed together. That moment <laughs> when they wake up. But I just don't you wa- dare stop me. I want to look just, at how he's manhandling. I know. I am we're not gently, there yet. I'm we're not there yet. Touching, touching your arm. Touching. What to say? I love and respect. Can we you. talk I just off wanted, mic for a second? 
No, no, we can't talk. And I don't want to do this in front of company, Tim. All right, <laughs> we, not, had, we met with a counselor last Not week. in front of On the, the show. On the show, I said. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It was fun. Uh, I think it worked. Yeah, I have I not won. listened to it yet. I, I saw the. Won. I saw you the, won. Yes. Sure, so yeah. I think you won. it was. Well, I scored won more it. points. So I think it was it mediation, and you won. Yes. Is that, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Got it. What was your point for grabbing? The my point arm? was just two <laughs> things that happened at the very beginning when when Richard says Tans at two o'clock, and oh, yeah. she looks, and he's like, "No, you have a two o'clock yeah. meeting," which reminded me of uh, you not knowing. Yeah, with, like like uh, ma'am. Twelve o'clock. Hallows at twelve oh, o'clock, and yes. she looks, and he's yeah. like, "Oh, I thought it just meant close." <laughs> and then uh, and then Gary gives one to her, and he's like, "At two o'clock," and she's like, "Jesus Christ, I'm not a sniper." <laughs> <laughs> it reminded me of those, and oh, also funny. possibly a joke I had completely forgotten, but possibly now one of my favorite Mike jokes. Okay. And this is why you're going to be okay with me touching. Because it's arm, about me. Because it's about you. Yeah. I'm playing to your vanity. Yeah. Uh, I habitually deny everything. I flushed a comb down the <laughs> That's toilet. That's a great joke. That is such a great joke. That is such a great joke. Um, is that based on real life? No. It's just a great joke. I honestly, I don't even remember where if it came from. I wrote that yeah, or yeah. if someone else did. Um, yeah. But yeah, my and what I love even more than that is um, <laughs> is Selena responding, I don't need examples. I don't need examples. <laughs> or like, oh, you know what I don't need? Examples. Here's what, one yeah. thing yeah. I will say. That can't, like, that's not going to be a Lou Morton joke. Because there's no way Lou Morton has ever used a comb. <laughs> oh, right. You know what I mean? Yeah. I feel like if we really wanted to narrow it down. I'm going to guess her Gabby or- Kimball. I don't know. Oh, I Billy, a, well, Billy Kimball doesn't seem like a Butterfingers type. Well, yeah. okay, so I had a, I had a situation, and this might have been it, if I wrote that, then I know what it was off. So maybe because That's like an OJ thing. If I <laughs> if I did, yeah. If I if did, I did murder I, my wife, I do not remember. Um, it, no, uh, a place that a place that I used to live in uh, in New York. We had a a very uh, an apartment manager who got very, very angry at us um, because he found, and I don't know how this happened, a pencil in the toilet that had been flushed. Oh wow! <laughs> yeah. Wait, did and he find it like in the sewer line? I guess yeah, no. I guess the, he found it or in the in the yeah that part. Oh okay. Um, oh maybe the, he had to snake thing. it. Yes. Yeah. yeah. And, he, and, he, and he goes, he goes, what kind of madman? <laughs> I was like, he's right though. What kind of madman <laughs> would flush you... <laughs> a pencil down the toilet? <laughs> And also, like you are a writer, it, you yes, know what I mean. Like I don't write with pencil. Yeah, I but don't if, think it, it was me. But if you're a landlord, oh yes. you're not making that. Distinction. Oh no, very. very I'm not true, saying it true. was you. Yeah. I'm just saying if a pencil a pencil gets flushed, the first person I'm looking to is the writer. Yeah, right. Okay, yeah. right. That is yeah. the digression, <laughs> Matt. I love and respect you, and I honor you, and I want you to talk about the heart attack. And, well, and the, now that we're back the, in the beginning, yeah. we can get to that later. I want oh, to shout I guess out, it's okay to digress. I want to <laughs> shout out Wayne Wilderson and yeah. Jean Villapique, our wonderful press folks. Yes. Is, uh, she, is that a rumor? Is she, she's the one who's pregnant in that? No, not now. <laughs> in the in the show? She's the reporter. She's the reporter. I think she, she was pregnant, pregnant at the it time. It was my favorite thing ever. We got there. Yeah, we got there that yeah. day. Sorry, now I'm now. Please. Well, we got there that day. So excited to give you the space to talk. Well, I was very. We don't get I, her I was very, very often. Oh. About this. Um, it's just rare that you see someone on film pregnant and it's not referred to. It's just it's never. I even notice. Yeah, and I saw her. And I was like, I love that so much. It was just this weird like representation of a of yeah. a person in a stage of life that a lot of people go through, and uh, and she's just. You know, doing her thing, and I was just like, "That's so cool." Anyway, see, I'm so open-minded. I don't see pregnant. Yeah, yeah that's I, don't how see, I don't see that's pregnancy. True. Well, I looked at her and I saw a nurse. So they yeah, <laughs> you were like, <laughs> "Thank God, somebody responds." And I also love going to deliver that baby. <laughs> Mike serving up the question as a female, and Julia just goes, "Pass, pass." Like I, they start to get into the book, which yeah. never gets written. As I as I watched that, I was like, "Oh, I literally did that the last time I was on this podcast." You were like, "You were like." Um, so can we ask, like, how does how did it feel as a woman in the room? And I just went like, Ugh. I was just like, I was like, oh, that was that was I had already written that into the show, except that like when I say it, uh, not being you know the you know world's like premier comic actor of <laughs> playing uh, like a. 
purposefully vile human being, like it, it doesn't come off quite as kind. Yeah, it just yeah. kind of sounds like you hate women. Yeah, a little yeah. bit. Or, yeah. Well, no, it's no, it sounds like I, I'm just uh, not. Oh, uh, actually, just annoyed at us. Yeah, yeah, right. Just not happy with the the line of questioning, but not in a fun way. Yeah, hers is much more fun. And this is the introduction of Sherman Tans, correct? Yes, this is, he's Wait, so yes. good. Oh my we'll, god! We'll get his name. Jonathan uh, Hadery Hadery. I yes. don't know how it's pronounced. He's so good. Jonathan Zendaya. Jonathan <laughs> Zendaya. 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 Yeah. Zendaya. No, it's like, it's like, H-A-D-A-R-Y, I'm pretty sure. But okay. Yeah. He, he's, I mean, Nixon is a terrible anti-Semite, <laughs> great friend of Israel. Yeah, but a great friend of Israel. A oh. miserable, yeah. This oh to That's me great feels joke. like, and please tell me if I'm wrong, the Sherman Tans character feels like like Dave on his walk to school when he was a child would see a man and he would just and like that th there is something so deep in the bones of that character yeah that feels so specific to Dave and Dave's want to like to talk about Judaism and and parody Judaism or satirize, <laughs> satirize it, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that like even like the haircut like I would feel like Dave would be looking at the hair being like that yes hair. yes that's it like it feels like it has to be from his history but do you remember well yes but I'm not gonna I'm, I mean it, yeah the character is definitely there is a prototype for the character oh right yeah. in real life yes yeah but, but did um, the real life character have that haircut no no, the hair was a work of genius by by the the like hair department. Like I, I it looked like like you know, Q tip yeah. like, that's been ruined. Like I, my do we have a labradoodle, and when he like <laughs> sleeps on his face, sometimes he comes up and it's like at an angle. It's like pressed up against his face yeah. like that, and that's kind of what it looks could like. Could not could not believe it. the hair was. And I saw it again. I had forgotten how how bad and amazing it yeah. is. Really, uh, its own character. Um, yeah. No, he his, says. Uh, yeah, he's great. And yeah. he's uh, he's he wants to get. What was it? The prison occupancy was at 135 percent. We are in grave. We don't want to go below grave that. danger of it dipping, <laughs> dropping below 135 percent occupancy. Not, yeah. And just uh. the genius of a private prison lobbyist. Yes. Like that's just the best, worst human being you could create. I mean, oh, yeah, I'm sure that best. was that was you know Dave knowing that that was. Yeah. Just, you know, shorthand for evil. Yeah. Miserable so, anti-Semite, so but a great friend of Israel. <laughs> Back trouble, bananas. Uh, I never turned down a warm compress. I never turned what down. What the fuck? That's my favorite because that is the most weird, yeah. specific thing to have an opinion about. Yes. <laughs> like, why, when have you ever been offered... A fresh, warm compress. Yeah. Or like, if I so, like, if I went to your home mm -hmm. and you were wearing a compress, right? And then you were like, "Oh, I have guests here. I'm going to take this off because it feels like far too personal to do that in front of somebody." Right. I wouldn't then be like, you know what? If it's not going, <laughs> if it's not going to be used, I, I mean, I would jump in on that. It seems so weirdly. I, I might make the joke of like, oh, if you're not going to use that, I'll take it. Uh -huh. But I wouldn't actually take it. Well, that's it. Just that feels like a wonderful example. I'm saying this because this wasn't my idea to do at all um, of, of sort of, you know, the like the like wallet thing about about characters like what would a character do if they found a wallet on the street mm -hmm, right mm -hmm. like that's that's sort of a i'm sure it's also just about just keep humans, the money right and then throw the wallet in the trash but that right so that's a specific type of character and then there's another type of character who's the good samaritan or oh i was doing me right okay got yeah, it yeah what would you do uh i would throw the trash can out and keep the wallet wow <laughs> but the okay. trash can the trash can belongs to the city you can't oh but out. i'm finding it in the trash can right no i thought it was on the street and you're just by a trash can <laughs> <laughs> See, I failed already. That's why I'm not a writer. Yeah. Um, but yeah, he's such a great character, and his introduction is... It's all, he has no boundaries is what you feel right yes. away. Yeah. He's yeah, like yeah, saying yeah. like, oh, bananas. Like he's telling yeah. you what mm -hmm. to do. And like, I'm just meeting you. I'll take the compress. You get a sense of like, this is a man who who is evil because you know his industry uh -huh. yeah. and you know his point of view. And he's also like in your business right away. Yeah, he's like, the, Get, I'll the take very... that. Give me that. Massage me. Totally. Gary's massaging He you. tips Gary on the way out. He, he like, did you know? Yeah. That he yes. like, That's so beautiful. And Gary says, and what's, what's this? Happening? <laughs> what is <laughs> happening? <laughs> 
Yeah. He also, I mean, the very first thing he says is like he calls her Madam Partner, and she's like, "Whoa!" It's like he's just he doesn't um, he he doesn't have any sort of sense. And of he's coming out of prison for tax fraud. Right. Right. Which yeah. is just so Which good. She let him out. For yeah. And she's like one of the reasons we're dipping below 135 right. percent occupancy I is because I let you yeah. out. <laughs> Was his pardon mentioned? In the previous season, was he a character, or we just build that history remember. here? I okay. think he was mentioned in the first episode, and only as like like that thing you did by pardoning him was Got so it. toxic. You are catching flack for oh, it. Got right. it. Okay. But this is the first time that we've seen him. He eats a fucking sandwich while talking on a phone yes. so well. So good. Yeah, it's, like a deli sandwich. Like it's that heavy yeah. meat sandwich. Yeah, too. And it's like it's sandwich. Got the, the it's fucking got the meat bib. falling out of it. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Tucked yes. into the, I uh, tucked into the dress shirt. You know the, <laughs> the giant the napkin. Lobster bibs. Oh. Are, yeah. Yeah. I think. I feel like after that, it was one of those things where it was like we always need to give him something to be eating. While he's yeah. while he's talking, yeah. just because he's, yeah. he's so good at that like physical comedy of grossness. <laughs> yeah, know? I remember it's like it, Tony Soprano eating. He's such a gra- a man animal, really. Uh, he's like yeah, savaging just, whatever he's eating. The right. gaba the gaba ghoul. Yeah, he just I remember uh, Soprano would always he was like savaging it. He's like right, bread no, and like no fucking, utensils. Yeah, yeah, like, like little I, mouth breathing and standing up, ice cream in the in the kitchen, just l- <laughs> being mad at somebody who's doing something that's kind of fine. Yeah. Oh God, he's so great. <laughs> yeah. Um, uh, just a, a couple quick things uh, before as he's leaving. We have like they call him like typhoid Moisha. Uh, the do- uh, without oh, if she is going through menopause, uh, not having tampons in the bag will, oh, will yeah. free up some space. Gary, yeah. there's a mention about hot pockets, but like oh, that might just be like a hot pocket, and you are just like, do we have hot pockets? Do we have any? <laughs> Which oh, gets so ignored. She says her he chest, throw- yeah, her chest feels like two hot pockets. Yes, my t- yeah, my tits feel her like tits, two hot yeah. pockets. Yeah. yeah. Oh, do we have any hot pockets? And <laughs> Amy just ignores him. And this is like setting up how Amy never gets credit for any idea and Richard gets all the credit. Yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. The, it, right. The, the whole time. At the very beginning of this. Because, oh, this is one of the things that was in sort of some of the notes that I was going through. Um, there was there was a note, like a, a room note that, um, you know, I guess we had discussed in the room that was like, you know, this is the first time we're seeing Amy back in Selena's sphere and like, you know, we're going to have to at least say something about it, mention it, welcome back, something. We didn't do that. Like, and, and it's really interesting because it's not necessary because what it's just Amy. You know she's going to be back, right? Yeah. yeah. So like when you see her there, you're like, oh yeah, I get what happened. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, and then she, and then, you know, uh, Selena's calling for Richard and Amy appears it's yeah. just, she's she's just trying to she is get in. gonna get in back yeah. in. Yeah, Veep historically is always really good at like the lesson of you don't need it. Yeah. Like yeah. you just start in the middle and people get it yeah. or yeah. they'll catch it pretty quick. Like it's it's you guys the writers are always so good at that. Like the show does that really amazing. Well. It's made me a little bit like allergic to exposition. Yeah. Um, yeah. And yes. And then you discover that in other things like you know I, I like I'm, I'm struggling with this now with like other things that I'm writing where I'm like oh but if I have to introduce a world I do have to do a little bit of exposition and it's yeah. like, and it's I, I'm railing against it in my head because it's like but no the you know people don't know these people yet I think right. one of here two things yeah the first one's a statement and the second one's a question <laughs> the fir- the first one is I think my least favorite type of exposition is when a character is alone and they say things out oh, loud that a human being that themselves? is alone would never mm-hmm. say out loud. Sure. Like that is a form of exposition that Shakespeare I Shakespeare did hate. that a lot. Bugs the <laughs> fuck out of me. <laughs> what I know. An idiot. What a, he is a fucking turd. Uh, maybe she. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. She, oh, for God's sake! <laughs> I'm just trying. I'm trying to. You're I'm trying to claw. Trying to claw back. This. The yeah. second question is: Who is the person in the writers' room that would like eat a granola bar, and then when it was done, would like leave the little granola bits or the wrapper on the table like a little too long? Uh. Like who is like the mess? Why you remember table? this? No, no, no. Oh, this I thought you had like, a specific. No, not example. this is like I'm just I'm giving a sort of very specific example yes. of what of so a general the roommate, idea. You're, you're going into the roommate nature of her job. Yes, I'm like, going into the. Was roommate there someone who maybe was like a was little, a little untidy? 
around food. Yeah. So I, I w- as you said that, I was like, fuck, was it me? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I don't know. Because I definitely, yeah. I, maybe I, it was I have that habit of like, I would like, you know, I'd like fold it up and like stick it under something rather than getting up and going, yeah. because I felt like getting up and going to the garbage can is distracting yeah. whereas this is not but then it would be like i'd have the script like this you know like a yeah and every time trash. you took a note on it it would like crinkle, crinkle yeah. yeah maybe it was me it i'm just gonna, I'm just gonna go with that all right me. that's good that's a I'll great answer that. that's a good scoop too for the fans they're gonna uh, want to know i love that there is i feel like this episode starts planting some of the like like modern media criticism that is just like kind of fun for the writers and that like all of the things that she says as she throws to commercial which becomes oh, like a yeah. runner the yeah. Texas mom who's trying to phase out reading, reading. and oh, then so also it's not even really commented on but when they watch CNN mm-hmm. there is an 11 person panel <laughs> yes. discussing yes. Yeah. the Supreme Court nominations yeah. mm-hmm. which is it's a like great joke. it's a great joke that is never called out or referenced yeah. outside of the fact that there are just 10 guests commenting on yes that. i think and also i mean there are like two two discreet jokes about that not about the not about the 11 panels but about sort of news outlets period um in there which is like i i think the first one is she's like you know cnn is reporting and she's like really and then she goes da, 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 cnn and she goes cnn.com yeah like, who cares? That. and then and then later it's new york times reports and she's like meh and then they go oh buzzfeed reports and she's like oh yeah know? all right and, which didn't age well but no that one didn't <laughs> age well but there was this was in a really weird period of time where yeah. buzzfeed had legitimately yes. great political reporting like their like washington desk or whatever the fuck is was legitimately doing great work yeah. and they felt like they had their finger more on the pulse than you know sort yeah. of an, an archaic like larger you know paper or whatever yeah yeah and my question for dan as he went through the episode did he in fact get darker or was he peak dark <laughs> i know in the middle he was pretty brown but when he did the rwanda story at the end was he more yeah. Color. Was there more color yeah, on his face a, by the end? A ton of bronzer on there. Yeah. 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 That was amazing because I was watching for it. I'm like, I think he's hit peak yeah. bronze in the middle. Right. But they Just might have worse. even. I think that was. That suppo- is so like. That was supposed to be the um the the makeup person's sort of, you know, last act of like mutiny before yes. she goes. Yeah. She's been fired and she's just like, all right, fuck off. I'm going to paint you. At one point he that's shouts so- at her like, unless that's an eraser, get away from me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That is another like brilliant edgy thing that happens in this episode is how dark his face gets and yeah. he like he will comment like uh, that comment he makes like i'm beginning to look like a diversity hire yeah. like it's like a yeah. rough that's a yeah. rough joke but it is a very dan it is in character totally, for totally. dan oh, yeah. but if you no. heard one of your friends say that you'd be like i don't know if we're friends anymore well that's a lot of the people that's in true everybody show oh they're like, all horrible yeah, sure yeah. and of course dan yeah yeah so gary Hearing that Selena had a heart attack and That's a heart attack. having a heart attack yeah. in the background is again like fucking Buster Keaton out of focus in the background, mm-hmm. having just like the perfect physical. Yeah, they did that placement fall. really well. It yeah. was really good because the scene kept going and he passed out in another scene, wasn't it? When yes. Mima died, is that when he like collapses? He had another funny like. Oh, I don't remember in the that. show. I, okay, but not in this episode. Not in this episode. In this episode, no. he also collapses on the staircase. <laughs> oh, later. It's yeah, like yeah. Bunny's gonna no, be just, late for middle yeah, school. Yeah, yeah. Me, Mama, a, Bunny's yeah. gonna be late for middle school. Right. There's like a line in like Finding Nemo where he's like uh, talking in his sleep, and that, I always thought like all the alts for that line were effectively alts for that. For the you know, scene the, of the talking in his sleep, yeah. Anyway, yeah. Um, <laughs> With the yeah, dad, uh, uh, what's the dad's name in Finding Nemo? Oh, I don't remember. It's Albert, Albert Brooks. Brooks. Yeah, yeah. It's an Albert Brooks thing. When he's sleeping, he would say the weird things. I do not remember. All I remember is it was from Finding Nemo, and I don't even remember the line. But I knew the line at the time. Um, I don't remember. Sorry, okay. this is not interesting. That's okay. So, anyways, I'm yeah. So leave that in. No. Yeah. The dad's name is Marlin. 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 Really? Mar- oh, that's a kind of fish. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. So. Well, now we can leave it in. Yeah. I know a fish. 
<laughs> so we get to the hospital. Wait, 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 oh. wait. Does it sound like I know a fish? Uh, yeah, let's leave it in. Leave it in. If it sounds like I know a fish, then leave it in. <laughs> you want to come off educated about uh, fish? Yeah, but Gary. <laughs> And Selena are now at the hospital, right? Or they've met Abernathy. He's passed out, and oh, we're now yeah. at the hospital. I love the Abernathy Gary like rivalry. The rivalry, yeah, that the rivalry comes back. So he good. is like she keeps. She's so happy about not having menopause that she keeps being like, "Well, this is great. I'm going to go out." And he's like, "No, you have to get to a hospital." And she's like, "I'm going to run down the street." And he's like, "No, time is of the essence." <laughs> right. Yeah. And then she immediately is like, "They have to put some stupid stent in me, but you're the one that got super fucked up. I right. had a heart issue." you you had a heart attack that's right yeah right i had i had an episode. heart event episode event. Yes. yeah something like that yeah. I had a little fit and where heart. did she say was it in the hallows meeting where they're gonna pull the gavel from my cold dead twat oh, yeah, cold yeah dead that twat. was during that the hallows meeting it was Incredible. it was bef- it was after gout it was after hallows left yeah, yeah. but yeah, yeah. that there- was a great celebratory uh declaration by selena yes <laughs> she, that- also, she also does this yeah. when she says it which i was like oh <laughs> uh, I made this joke to somebody the other day, and it's fine to cut this out if if you so prefer. But I remember very specifically. You have final cut on this episode. Oh, you great. don't yeah. rarely do our guests get rarely. That, yeah. but your agent got you a really sweet deal on yeah. this one. Thank you. Um, <laughs> also, eighty thousand dollars appearance fee. Oh, wonderful! Yeah, it's nice. pretty good. Nice. Yeah, that, yeah helps. that helps. Yeah, it, um, it'll all go to Sydney Sweeney. The <laughs> <laughs> and her team. So I uh, I remember. Uh, in the circumcision episode, uh, when I get yes. adult circumcised, uh, somebody... Oh, no, no. I'm sorry. It's when I shoot myself in the foot. Ugh. Dan says something like, Jonah did something, something. And then I like sort of casually, like I do like the jerk off motion. Uh-huh. And I remember you tweeting later that day. It's strange when you see an actor do the jerk off motion because then you sort of fundamentally understand which hand they use. What? I don't think I tweeted that. There is a possibility that you tweeted that. No. Uh, well, no, I didn't find it offensive because it was general I enough. I mean, I, I get that that's like or, funny, well, but also I can't believe I would have tweeted well, that. Well, maybe anyway. there was an aspect of like it was maybe it was like you see in a window into the actor's life and maybe you didn't mention the jerking off thing specifically but when i saw it i was like oh that's a really funny joke and there's no way it didn't come from the jerking off moment so earlier in the day i mean i i'm sure yeah I, that sounds correct also later that day good you memory. also tweeted uh, i hate women uh-huh. i'm yeah. the only good one that i remember okay and i i know my fish for some reason you were <laughs> bragging about your and fish knowledge. I was so annoyed at the at the um, the limit of character, the, the, the character <laughs> limit, because I wanted to write all the fish I knew. I couldn't, I but couldn't. you can have gets, other tweets. No, but it gets lost because people <laughs> yeah. don't like follow the whole thread. Yeah, yeah. The thread. Uh, I this whole <laughs> unscroll, unscroll, <laughs> yeah, unroll dot me or whatever the fuck, <laughs> unroll dot fish, <laughs> unroll dot fish. So uh, it's a community based thing. You get all the money from the advertisement, but it's like it, it's like free <laughs> editing from the masses. <laughs> that this whole hospital run is pretty amazing in that it is like like the game of Selena hates Gary and doesn't think Selena who's on her feet the whole time right. though, the whole which time. is so funny everything that comes out of her mouth is insulting to Gary yeah every single thing she's gonna make him buy the book yes she, he had yeah, a well, massive heart attack luckily 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 yeah um she takes his water <laughs> she takes his twice. water something twice she takes yeah. twice. twice she takes his water I don't uh, oh thank God he's okay I don't know the alarm code for yeah, my to get house in. <laughs> Every so single moment is her being like, I do not value his life outside of what his life can do for me. I also, you yeah. know what I loved about that too? The way she played it to the uh, attending person um, when she was like, yes, because yes. she was, she was ranking her above Gary because everything, everything Gary said, she was effectively doing the jerk off motion yes. with her eyes, yes. right? To the act. And You're when right. I, he's like, when like she agrees Alabama. to go to the birthday, she's, she's like, like yeah. Right. Yeah. And yeah, like I'm really going to yeah, go, yes. go to the birthday. And he's like, yes. it's in Alabama. Yeah. And she goes right back to her and she's like, Alabama. Why would I? Wa-? You know what? I, it's I kept, fucking incredible. And I kept thinking, I was thinking as I was watching it too, like how amazing 
does that actor feel that she has this scene with Julia where Julia is playing off her the whole time? Like, yeah. I was just, and she was great. And she, yep. they, it was just oh, it was so cool. And I could also imagine if I'm that if I'm that actor and Julia starts doing that to me, like the right thing to do is I think to be like, you were a president, but you're making fun of a state in this country. And also this is your friend and he's in pain and hurt. And this was actually life threatening. Like that is it, but it would be so hard for me to not immediately get on board with whatever Julia Agree. is saying, just being like, yeah, Alabama sucks. Like I would play she was it so all wrong. Good. She was so good. It was so real and understated. I was just like, but that? in that scenario, it is the former president of the United States. Yeah. So it's kind of like, of course, I'm going to agree with you. Whatever you say, I'll be starstruck. If I if I met a president, I would be starstruck. Right. So they're starstruck with Julia, but it also works. Totally. And that character is going home to like her family and being like, you'll never believe. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> <laughs> That's the spinoff. That's a spinoff. <laughs> yes. The Find hospital her. show that Veep created. Yes. <laughs> Uh, there's Same a, elsewhere. Right when, uh, right when she's going into, uh, right when she's Surge. going into surgery, Amy's like waving, and she's just like, close the window. <laughs> God, she never stops, stops talking. talking. And <laughs> Anna is so funny because she's going through the glass as if we can hear her. Yeah, she does not drop it for no, a she's second. She's so great. Yeah, uh, we don't see a lot of Kent and. Ben in well, this. Kent gets oh my the God. correct us on daylight what am I saving. Talking daylight about? Kent, yeah. The daylight saving correction is quintessential Kent Davidson. It's like Nevada. And, that is the thing. I Every think, year it comes yeah. up whenever there is daylight savings in social media mentions. Like there's uh, every twice a year this this episode comes up. That makes me so happy. Okay, so so like neither plural nor possessive Why, right? neither plural nor possessive so this came from a conversation i had with my husband andrew who is from arizona where they don't do it don't do it yeah. um and i mean good for them but arizona how did that affect his personality how does that affect your wrong. personality if you grow up with no daylight saving that uh, should be a good study like constantly both late and early to every day. <laughs> I don't and know. also like how, it, just growing up in arizona how yeah, does that affect I, your I personality have no idea. right I guess. and they didn't celebrate martin luther king for a while too yeah so. <laughs> Wait, <is laughs> that, that holiday yeah, yeah remember that true? they were the last no, state to get on board with the federal holiday public enemy public enemy wrote a song about it by the time I get to Arizona. Wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I did not know yeah, that. Yeah, it's really good. All right, well, anyway, um, he was, uh, I was writing this episode and I was talking about it at home and I was saying something and I kept saying daylight savings time because that's the way everyone says <laughs> yeah. it. Mm -hmm. And he was just like, you know, it's saving, right? And I was like, no, it's not. And he's like, yeah, it's saving, daylight saving time. And I was like, no. It's not. No, it's not. And I like looked it up and I was like, what the fuck? Like, this is like a Baron Stain Bear thing, right? So, like, <laughs> oh. this is like one of those things, right? Where you're just What is like, it called? Man it's not a Portman 2. It's a uh, Mandela effect. Mandela, a Mandela yeah. effect. Thank um, you. Oh, my God. Did you guys just hear quick. that voice? He's God. quick from three points. Oh. Yeah, Mandela From effect. downtown, Aaron well was like, will you just say it again? Because it sounded incredible. The Mandela effect. There it is. My God. Now it sounds like it has to be like a, a movie. Yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> the Mandela ooh, effect. Ooh, that's a thriller. <laughs> you thought um, <laughs> something was a thing, but it was It was that not thing. a thing. You thought something was a things, but it was a thing. <laughs> but... But he actually, he said, I don't think he said those exact words, but he basically fed me that Kent line. He was just like, he's like, yeah, it's not like, he didn't say it's neither a plural nor a possessive, but he said it mm -hmm. almost exactly. And I was like, it's going in. That's <laughs> like, yeah. I would have assumed so because sometimes. of the run that you went on about the commas and the grammar surrounding like yeah. that you would have been the one correcting him. You would think, um, but no. Uh, this is like when you marrying Andrew is like when <laughs> the Frasier spinoff where they were like, what if the foil was a more Frasier Frasier? <laughs> like, that's you and Andrew. I what if you so. married a more Rachel Rachel? We did. We mentioned Oxford commas in, in our vows. Vows? Oh, yeah. Yeah. that's linguist. Yeah, I will not tell you who was on which side. Um, okay. <laughs> I was on the wrong side, it turns out. Well, what um, about, is does... Kent also defines homunculus in this. That was Dan O'Keefe. Dan O'Keefe, and I swear he rattled that off like without, like. It, and what is it again, roughly? Do you remember? Something it is with a, the word Paracelsus. Something. It's like a, I believe sperm. it's like I, I, in my a head. Homunculus it's like, is a little dude, right? It, it, well, it's like a. I believe it's like a creature of lore, right. Who mm -hmm. is made from putrefied semen. 
Okay. Right. Putrefied. Putrefied. But almost is like a word. golem is made from clay. Yes. Oh. A golem is yes. made from clay. I so, feel like it's a golem ish creature. Little cum troll. Made from, a little cum yeah. troll. Yes. Yeah. A little. I mean, like, I think if, for yeah. the lay people. I need people, it broken down simple. <laughs> right. Thank you. Yeah. For the yeah. lay people, it's a cum troll. Right. Um, um, yeah. But no, so, I, that, oh. that definition came from a person's mouth. That, That's all. Spontaneously, I just to say that. it wasn't like he looked it up. Yeah, <laughs> I, I mean, maybe he did. I don't know. It felt but... like he was saying it in the moment. That's, Dan, that that's is amazing. like if you were going to be like, okay, who knew the exact definition the of the common would... troll? I'd be like, oh yeah, Dan O'Keefe <laughs> or uh, Roger Drew or Roger Drew. Drew. Yeah, if he this was, was like, he okay, had a dark yeah. twisted. Yeah. So this, I do remember that the one of in watching this had completely forgotten about the whole rant that Jonah goes on. It's like, oh, hey, so Harold good. Ledger, get over here. I'm not. I'm not gonna suck your dick. <laughs> yes. And then, but like the next line made me laugh even more, which was like, uh, like the one who should be the person, the one something who should be sucking my dick is daylight savings. Is daylight savings? <laughs> Which like, yeah. doesn't make any sense. I don't sense. give a shit about some farmer who has to get up too early to milk cow. Like everybody's fumbling for their yeah. recorders. But I, I also love like, you said my phone fell in the toilet so who's the smart so guy now? now? We have another toilet consumption yeah, moment. Yeah, that's true. So, a little pattern there. Uh, oh, there right. Might have been me then. That's good. There is a moment where uh, Jonah just calls out to Benny Kent, how do you both know what a homunculus <laughs> is? I do yeah. feel like that is a rare moment of Jonah actually having some clarity of thought of like, uh, yeah. how do you, but no, no two people know what the fuck this was is. That, was that ad-libbed? Was that you? That was me ad-libbed. That's what I that. thought. That's yeah. what I thought. Yeah. Just wanted to throw that out That's there. That's nice. No, because yeah. I, I thought so, because I was like, I don't think that was in the script and it's so perfect because it's true. There is no reason two people should know that. And there yeah. was, I also remember it feeling like <laughs> it feeling like sometimes when things get a little bit wordy it, it, i don't uh, and t tell me if i'm wrong as a writer sometimes when things get wordy like that that's like a scene that has a lot of both wordiness but also emotion and frustration because now i'm i'm two hours late because i fucked up my watch and right. all of this has been building so there's that sort of driving of emotion behind it but it is also wordy so it almost necessitates a response yes like when they say that shit about the homunculus you can't just let it go by right you have to respond to it yeah you know what i mean like totally and i think sense. that was less about just like oh i hope i can get a funny one in here more just like no it needs fucking response no, it felt real yeah, yeah. I, which is also why it was funny because that is correct that is probably what everyone watching was thinking too like what the like, what the fuck how yeah yeah, yeah. Um, I also like yeah. that I feel like this was you and not the script too is that i springed forward <laughs> I, I, spring spring I don't know. I, that one might have <laughs> like been. A gymnast. Like, really a gy funny. like a gymnast. Like a gymnast. Like a gymnast. Yeah. <laughs> so, like a gymnast. No, you. Oh, God. Yeah. Th this is like a really the beginning of like peak, <laughs> peak confident idiot. Yeah. Well, like, he gets power in this one, too. Yeah. He gets a big lobbyist on board. Yeah. I mean, cut to them giving you a. a piece of legislation, right. and there's like eight experts in your office. Yeah. Do I need to read this? That's right. pretty dark and terrible, like the way DC works. But that is like fucking amazing that it's Jonah who's riding this wave now and oh, like by, so against good. all odds. And I love the scene where he writes you a check for a penny because you're an hour late and he's just sitting in your chair and he's holding yeah. a globe. Isn't yeah. it a squishy ball of the they earth? Squishing, yeah. yeah, I think it's an earth. <laughs> it's yeah, it's like an earth. earth. Yeah, he's like Stress holding ball. earth in his hand. And you don't know exactly where it's going. That scene is like, wait, <clears throat> wait, weren't we? I mean, I, I love that. And he, um, yeah, he just plays that. And you call him a weird old man because he's writing you a check for a penny, which is yeah. a great insult. Because yeah. <laughs> like, it's kind of respectful. Like, you didn't call him a fucking whatever. Right. You just hear it like some weird old man. They're, it's almost polite. It is like I I really do like the moment where he was like I like to judge a man by I need to like judge a man by looking him oh, in his yeah, eyes and, and your he gaze. has no idea what to do and like you, physically. You, like you cannot keep your eyes still. <laughs> no. You're just like. <laughs> oh yeah, Tans is a monster. Like it. he is like intimidating yeah. you. He's so controlling you in that moment. There's such a there. This was another thing off of that outline, which was that. I mean, obviously things change from the outlines, but like, but originally that scene um, doesn't happen, and he and Tans sees it, it was a sort of truncated version of it, where like, where you were late 
for the meeting. You were late for the meeting, and he left. And then, yeah. and, and you talk with Ben and Kent about it. And and then it. What's so great about putting that in there is, um, it makes it sort of closes the door on any idea that Tans would ever support this asshole of a yeah. you know who's like idiot. I've s- I've spent fifty nine minutes waiting for a man that no one should, should wait, wait for. for. That's yeah. right. <laughs> and yeah. then so then it's so then it's actually this surprise at the very very end when when he can't fund yeah. the library because he's all in on Jonah. Yeah. Um, and I, I just, that's another, I think, testament to Mendel's like. Yeah. And I also love the moment when Julia finds out from, I'm assuming Candy Caruso, that she's not being selected and she's so happy. <laughs> she's so sweet. Fantastic. <laughs> Bye-bye. Get Tans on the phone. I get and then, but it's just so, so much Her emotion. Roller coaster. Exactly. It's yeah. insane, she gets right? on the phone. Sherman, how are we? And then it's, and then <clears> it's <throat> the, and then it's the president. It's, it's Hughes. And she smacks her hands on the so table. Hard. Like whenever Julia does that sort of like hand smacking <laughs> thing, like she does it like, you know, this, this off the, the yeah. level of, con- of incompetence in this offense is staggering. <laughs> I fucking love it. It's so good. Yeah. It, it, that run though exactly right like that yeah. phone call tans all of it happening so quickly and it's just she, wonderful and then she does it to gary too where she's just like how you feeling yeah oh and by the way so that moment where they wake up in bed together oh yeah it's just so great oh, it's my favorite it's my it favorite. works you know it's the whole storyline of like Gary is unfiltered because he's on drugs and he says, oh, she's pretty. And he tells Catherine, your mom thinks you're ugly, but you're beautiful. (laughs) Yeah. And Catherine's face is like, thank you. Thank you. And then Catherine invites him to the brownstone. And then, of course, Selena's making him work still. Yeah. Gary has roommates. (laughs) Gary has roommates. Oh, that's so sad. who Who I gave names that were like. Um, similar to names from real world um, on purpose. Oh. <laughs> it was like Stachel. Boosh. R- right. Yeah. Boosh. Yeah, yeah Boosh was... Just... A... I actually, when I was watching, it was like, what the fuck is up with those names? <laughs> like, I didn't make it. I'm glad you said that. It was In because, Hoboken. Yeah, yeah. It, was, it, was, it was mostly based on... It was mostly based on um, real world sort of, you know, MTV-ish ish names and then Bush was actually off of <laughs> Bush was actually off of a, a guy I knew in camp a billion years ago who wow. called himself Moosh um, <laughs> his last name was close to Moosh um, <laughs> just see what that dude's up to but anyway um, and I just thought it was I thought it was like cute and funny and sweet that he sort of made up his own nickname yeah so I, yeah anyway oh uh, and how Gary being 40 was that decided here it was decided okay so because that is that not is, Tony no obviously it's much younger than Tony I, I not much, don't but know younger, who yeah. chose that yeah. it was I did not but I remember them asking me at the when we were filming the the um, the scenes at the hospital um, they brought over something of like his intake papers like props go all out like stuff yeah. that you never see is isn't that filled. beautiful so they so they needed his intake papers filled out and they asked for his birthday and they said we know it's August um, and we know that because he's 40 you know we know it's like whatever and and they were like so can you fill it out and I was like well I was also I'm also going to be 40. I was like, so that's my birth year, and August is my. So I just gave him my birthday. So Gary has my birthday and um, your wow. social security number and my social security number, and he's a doctor. Um, no, he's yeah. So uh, yeah, my. So, so Gary Walsh out. has your birthday. I, Gary Walsh. Technically, that's technically, cool. Nobody knows this I know, except me. It was but, on the intake. But yes. So your wow. birthday is in the episode, and it came out on your son's birthday. Oh hey. You know what? Very cool. Sometimes the stars. Sometimes the stars tell us things. Yeah. What, seven it's years a significant later? Yeah. Uh, significant this is a significant episode. It really There's is. so and, many connections and that to it. That is the reason. <laughs> this has been so much fun. I Thank do so feel like we have to. Back. We have to. I think we have to begin going toward wrapping it up, only because sure. I think we're running out totally of studio fine. time. But I'm gonna like just run through. Some well, things. I just want to yeah. live through the yeah. lifting Gary's arm oh, to get yes, out of the I'm room. Sorry. That is just so. Because they jump cut. She's like, I'll get the water. I just need to wait a minute. She doesn't get the water because you cut back. She she's never got him the water. Out, and he's thrown eating. out the grilled salmon. The and terrible made, noodles or yeah. whatever she made of the cut up chicken sandwich. And then they wake up in the morning with some weird show. Wasn't there some weird show on the TV? That was, I was so excited that they did that because I had no... Originally, those two scenes were back to back. And yeah. I did not understand how they were going to like sun up, sun down or whatever. Dale Stern is... 
wonderful. Um, but yeah, they showed. Oh, shout it, out to the director. Yeah, Dale but they showed one of the um, they showed one of those ads that only plays like really really late at night. It was like I don't remember what it was. Yeah, they showed some. It know. was jarring because it was so bizarre, and I, I wish I do. Rem- it was uh, unusual. Yeah. I do just want to, as a side note, point out that if you want to know what the world thinks of you, pay attention to the commercials, the television shows that you watch. Oh, interesting. Um, only because we pointed that out to uh, some my in-laws, and they were like, every single one was uh, like... If you're incredibly old, <laughs> this is a product for you. That is the that is what is underneath. Like it became a joke. Of but are like, you talking about like algorithmically? Like no, not streamers? algorithmically. Because I'm talking more about like on like linear television. Like what you're watching. Okay. Like yeah. if you're yeah. watching like uh, right, like who pays CBS. for Who pays for the advertisements totally. yeah. on the shows NFL. that you enjoy? Yeah. yeah. Yes. Like that is what the world thinks of you, totally and it's sense. really funny sometimes to be like, "Oh no, <laughs> oh no. Don't watch Comedy Central because no. you'll be so sad. I used to a lot. <laughs> we all so, yeah, did. Yeah. We um, all did. All right. So disaster would be a step up. I do like this moment of uh, <laughs> like, who was that that you were talking to? Is like, I don't know. It's Sherman Tans. Yeah, I know who he is. He's a prison it's magnet. A magnet. <laughs> yeah. Which I, it sounds enough like magnate. <laughs> So I and I, I remember I wrote it and spelled it magnet for him to be silly and and then found out afterward that I guess magnate is actually pronounced magnet, magnet? so oops but that I do magnet? Kind of, you say is, magnet I guess it is okay. but it's pronounced the same but I you feel did, like yeah. I feel like the joke is there for people to get you you did it enough that I, it, the joke is gettable and and I think also it's what is the joke that, there I guess I guess that he's just he doesn't have any idea what prison magnate means the, and so it, like prison oh, you're magnet. gonna be talking to to a prison magnet Sherman Tans and he's like great and then he's like he's like yeah he's a prison, he's a prison magnet, magnet. Like, right he's okay. a magnet for like I, I got it but Kent does pronounce it kind of magnate and I think it was to like make the joke work but mm-hmm. I I found out afterwards that it you the say joke. magnet. The joke doesn't work. <laughs> oh, there's, a, there's a really great moment at the beginning of the Dan Richard phone call where he like mm-hmm. starts and Richard just says, please repeat everything after Hey Buddy. <laughs> like, he's he, so happy. He simply cannot, he cannot live at the speed that anyone else in this show lives at and also is just so happy to hear from his friend. Yeah. And he's on hold a long time on and that like call. Along. Along. Yeah, he likes the music. Oh, yeah. so cute. Everybody uh, optimist. Bodega flowers. Oh, the great jokes about Taft. Like, what's the first thing you know about Taft? He bath died tub. in a bathtub. Or he got stuck in a bathtub. What's No, 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 not that. What's the second thing? Piano. He got buried in a <laughs> piano, piano case. case. Like, not that. <laughs> uh, uh, Oh, he has my water with the straw. Uh, oh, I'm, does do I have to time explain to oh, yeah. you people? Yeah. The big hand points to noon, and the little oh. hand, and he starts realizing he doesn't know <laughs> to how to noon. explain time. Yeah. <laughs> uh, waiting for a man uh, that should never be waiting for. I threw the rest out, unless that's an eraser. Uh, oh, another like throwaway joke as they go to commercial that there is uh, somebody who is against gay marriage and paying his gay escort. Oh, yeah. um, <laughs> I'm not going to suck your dick. Uh, ashamed to hide that body under a robe oh, is yeah. his the thing that he... Which she agrees with. She's like, Wait, no, but... What is that from? What's that moment? I didn't catch that one. That's, that's Gary trying to make Selena feel better about, about not, not getting the justice... Oh, got it. Yes, yeah. I do. And then that. she says, "Are you feeling better?" And he's like, "Yeah, I'm feeling good." And she goes, "Then shut the fuck shut up." Shut the fuck up. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. Do I have to read all this? And then the big call for less government from our clocks to our private prisons to, to the, the very, the very watches. watches. And he, he doesn't have his he watch. Doesn't have a watch on. Oh, I didn't even notice that. Yeah, he yeah. Points to a bare wrist. He like well, he kind of looks it at up. it and then puts it back down. He holds it up to demonstrate. <laughs> realizes so that he doesn't have one on and puts it down. I just like I like the the language of it. It's like from A to Y to A. <laughs> it's the same thing. <laughs> the classic list of A Y A. Yeah, that one. This is the ascendancy, though. The beginning of Congressman Ryan's ascendancy. Yes. He's got a big, big money behind big him. Big money behind He's him. He's got a big bill that's gonna that's catching a lot of attention. Yep. And still does with. 
people yeah. from uh, really either end of the horseshoe still are into. Okay, this is one thing that, <laughs> from what I understand, the thing that we all thought when we were teenagers about, like, if you legalize drugs, everything would be fine. Mm -hmm. And then in Oregon, apparently, yeah. super not going well with the legalization well. of drugs. Yeah. So they have now unlegalized them. That apparently, at one point, they did out, they did do away with daylight they, saving they time. They did away with it twice. And I, I looked this up. It was so this. wildly unpopular. What's the right. most recent times? era that they got rid they, of it? They, they re, all right. So it was 1918 and then they got rid, it was during a war. They mm -hmm. got rid of it in 1919, I guess. And then, um, and, and then it was, uh, 43 to 45 or something. Yeah. And then they reinstated it in like 67 and then Arizona was like nope in 68 and everyone else has kept it since then. And it, but it they instituted to save oil or something? Like if they do it during a war does it save electricity yeah, or something? It's, yeah, it's electricity which is energy which is okay. money. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And I but I do think that the more recent time like when they when they took it away people were like this fucking sucks bring it back so right. i do feel like we have this thing of like whatever moment we are in it is like mm -hmm. this moment sucks i want that other one yeah. and then you're in that other one you get that one back and you're like oh this fucking sucks too i want that other moment back and i feel like i saw a correlation between the oregon thing and yeah Daylight that Taylor. totally makes it that feels makes like baloney magic because it's like we're gonna add 30 seconds to every day so the country can have a higher gdp <laughs> do you know what i mean it's like yeah. what's happening yeah <laughs> it's like, well, is the number any different? No, the number no. is exactly the same. That's like, yeah, that's like when you when you think about just the fact that like months were invented and at yeah. one point there were different. A yeah, the French had one, and, the French had like a ten day week or something. Yeah. They were going at it. I mean, sure. Yes. And, yeah, and they worked. You know, <laughs> can I? Know. How long is the work week? I don't just know. because we're talking about this in measurements. We do have to start wrapping up. I know oh, yeah, I was Tim, the one that said can I grab your arm? I'm you're grabbing you off my this, arm. I'm backing much, you off this point. Much more Don't forcefully. open up a new topic. No, I'm opening we're, up a new topic. We're starting to wrap down. <laughs> so I have uh, the gym that I go to has like a little thing where you can like, you know, keep track of like what you've done in the class. Okay. So, and then th this app at the end of the year will like give you this weird wrap up thing where it said like over the course of this year, you lifted 8,162 baby rhinos. Wow. And I was like, oh, OK, I have no you know what I mean? Like, okay, I have no fucking sure, idea what that sure. means. And I posted a picture of it and somebody said Americans will use anything but the metric system. And I uh, honestly, that's that person brilliant. is a great, that, that person is, is wonderful. Yeah. It's a great point. And in that way, it's like, we would rather go to a fucking 11 day work week and have 30 <laughs> so seconds extra true. a day for GDP. And this hour is not an hour rather than just being like, what if everything was divisible by 10? Wow. Yeah. And made yeah. sense. And made fucking sense. Yeah. Let's that make is, it more complicated. Uh, uh, right. Rachel Axler. Thank you so much. It's a for joy to have me. you here. Yeah. Is there anything you want to promote? Yeah, you want to promote anything? I, you just... Can you ask me if I want to walk back anything? I don't oh, know if there's anything yeah. I want to walk back in this. Can you well, walk... you get final cuts. So yeah, you get final cuts. You're protected you get... by that. Okay. But this could be intros and outros Here, if you want it to be. Here's what I'd like to walk back. Uh -huh. uh, I think it wasn't a ghost. I think it was actually the, <laughs> the doctor. The, the doctor was was I, I actually I don't know who the doctor was. It's the mom. <laughs> it's the mom. How can you not learn this? All right. All right. Yeah. Uh, all right. Well, sort of. I guess you're not walking it back. <laughs> yeah. That really feels more like a double down. <laughs> Yeah. I no, doubled I, down. I thought you, about it. You know it. what I want to walk back. I'm, I'm not going to walk it back. I'm going to hope that you just cut it and my life is automatically better um. okay <laughs> it is just by doing the show it's automatically better yeah um it's been so great to have you here you're a wonderful guest thank yeah you for thank coming. you for having always me. um i think we should do the thing where we should say that uh we are second in command uh sometimes we are a veep rewatch, veep rewatch podcast other times we do whatever and uh <laughs> yep. and you can rate us five stars you can review us you can rate review and subscribe you can do that both wherever yeah. you find podcasts or you can do that on let's the just YouTube say the channel. rating and reviews are sort of like the daylight savings of it all we need yes. to gimmick the algorithm yeah. to draw attention to our show the more five star reviews you get the more likely it is that daylight saving time will go away <laughs> yeah. yeah 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 that's Something those like that. two are directly linked uh thank you so much for listening yeah Goodbye. peace